Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best robot mops. Starting at number 5. Eufy Robovac L70. The Eufy Robovac L70 Hybrid 2-in-1 Robot Vacuum and Mop utilizes an upgraded laser navigation system and is rated for a long, 150-minute runtime. Better yet, should the battery run low, the Robovac L70 Hybrid will return to its dock, recharge, and then resume cleaning where it left off. The accompanying Eufy Home app allows you to adjust mopping power, customize maps, and set virtual boundaries. Mopping with Robovac L70 Hybrid is straightforward. Add water to the removable tank that sits just above the dustbin, dampen the microfiber pad and attach it to the bot. The Robovac L70 Hybrid cleans in a methodical, serpentine pattern that ensures no floor area is untouched, unless, of course, you've set up a no-go zone for it. The only downside with this model is that, at 4 inches tall, it's going to struggle to fit under some cabinets and furniture, which isn't ideal. Coming at number 4. iLife VAS. This hybrid robot vacuum and mop won't clean out your wallet, but it will clean up your floors. What the iLife V8S lacks in bells and whistles, it makes up for in cleaning prowess. The iLife V8S has four different cleaning modes that work in both mop and vacuum modes, Classic, which sends the bot bouncing off of walls, Path, a methodical, M-shaped cleaning pattern edge, for cleaning along borders, and Spot, for targeted cleaning. As with most robot mops, the company recommends vacuuming prior to mopping. To activate the mop on the iLife V8S, switch out the dustbin for the water tank, dampen and attach the microfiber mopping pad and choose a mode using the included remote control or on the bot itself. The V8S will get to work. iLife says the 300 ml water tank is roughly enough to clean one room and recommends refilling the tank before cleaning the next room. Because it lacks Wi-Fi connectedness and isn't capable of mapping, you'll want to keep an eye on it while it cleans. No one likes a squishy carpet. At number 3. Roomba J9 Plus Combo. Until the Roomba J9 Plus Combo, most of the hybrid robot vacuums slash robot mops we've tested have been good, but not great, at either task. The J9 Plus Combo is the first such device we'd actually trust to vacuum and mop without close supervision. That's because the J9 Plus is smart enough to know when it's on a rug, and can lift its mopping pad overhead like a convertible car roof so that your carpet doesn't get soaked. Roomba's J9 Plus combo is pricey but vacuums and mops thoroughly while also avoiding obstacles. Its retractable mop design is best for homes with carpets as it can completely avoid getting a drop of water on them, but it requires you to manually remove and clean it after each job. As a vacuumer, the J9 Plus was pretty good, it's not the best with pet hair on wood floors which clumps up and drags, but it was fast and thorough enough to feature as one of the best robot vacuums. It also has niceties such as multi-floor mapping, no-go zones, and scheduling. If you're looking for a robot vacuum that can also mop a space with carpets, the J9 Plus combo is worth a look. Number 2 of my list. iLife ShineBot W400. As the best robot mops go, the iLife ShineBot W400 hits the sweet spot between price and performance. Though it just uses plain tap water to clean your floors, we were impressed with how much dirt the mop removed from our floors. Better yet, we could see exactly how much grime was removed thanks to the separate onboard clean and dirty water tanks. The ShineBot W400's mopping prowess is thanks to the twin power of a reusable microfiber brush roll that scrubs dirt away and a rubber scraper squeegee that helps remove dirty water and other debris. The ShineBot W400 was a well-behaved robot mop as well, never venturing onto even the thinnest rug in our testing. Instead of an app, the W400 is controlled via remote control or the buttons on the bot itself. From here, choose one of four cleaning patterns, area, path, spot, and edge. While this mopping-only bot offers good cleaning performance, it's a bit tall at 4.6 inches high and might not fit under kitchen cabinets. And, when this robot mop is done cleaning, your cleaning job begins. After each use, iLife recommends cleaning the dirty water tank, the microfiber brush roll, the scraper and the filter with running water. 
then the parts must be left out to air dry. It's a bit of work, but the ShineBot W400 gets the mopping job done. And number 1. iRobot Brava Jet. The iRobot Brava Jet M6 is the robot mop that does it all. This impressive bot not only cleaned better than every other competitor, but it uses the same advanced navigation found in the Roomba S9 robot vacuum to clean and map your home. Within the iRobot app, you can command the Brava Jet M6 to clean specific rooms or areas while avoiding no-go spots such as pet food bowls. We like the easy-to-fill removable water tank, too. When the mop's battery gets low, it'll head back to its base, recharge, and then get back to work. But perhaps the flashiest feature of the Brava Jet M6 is how it works in tandem with the Roomba S9 and Roomba i7, some of the best Roombas. When either of those vacuums has finished cleaning and returned to its base, the mop goes to work. Not only will your floors be vacuumed, they'll be freshly mopped as well. We are truly living in the future. The Brava Jet M6 uses proprietary wet and dry cleaning pads that are available in reusable or disposable versions. The only cleaning solution recommended for use with this bot is proprietary, but you can't have it all. Plus most robots mops can only function with water alone, so this does give you added cleaning power. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.